What is the best thing you can invest in during this new year? Hey everyone, and welcome to The Savvy Squaddy. In this video, I'm going to go through what I personally think is the best investment you can make this year that will pay dividends for the rest of your life. So straight up, here it is. The best thing you can invest in this year is yourself. And I will spend the rest of this video explaining why I think that and how you can do it. For those of you that were hoping for some insight into some stock or crypto that was going to explode this year, good luck finding the ever elusive get rich quick scheme elsewhere. So firstly, why should you invest in yourself? Well, no one is perfect and there's always room for improvement. If you want to get ahead in life, be successful, add value, have purpose, perspective, meaning and a positive impact, then you need to invest in yourself. Sitting on your ass all day, wasting your evenings to binge watching Netflix and going on weekend benders will get you nowhere in life and instead will leave you behind your peers who put in the extra hours and work by investing in themselves. But some of you won't see it that way, will you? Instead, you'll call them lucky, put them down for trying something new, blame the system because their career is more successful than yours, and so on. You'll do and say everything apart from look into yourself and take personal responsibility for your lack of actions that have led you to an unfulfilled life. But it doesn't have to be that way. By investing in yourself, your self-confidence increases, your skills and abilities improve as well, which translates into both your personal and professional life making you more employable and valuable to companies which will earn you more money. You'll expand your knowledge, become more aware of your strengths, and you'll be much more successful at achieving your goals and having a fulfilled life. I've said it before, you are paid in proportion to the perceived value you bring to the marketplace. So investing in yourself increases the value you can add and therefore you will get paid more. Whether this be by starting a better, higher paid job with your newfound skills or promoting in your current job quicker than your peers who didn't invest in themselves and who instead expect to be handed out rewards for just showing up. Nowadays, the workplace is full of entitled c**ts who think the world owes them everything and don't actually want to put in the hard work required to be successful in life. Understand though, this will not happen overnight. Investing in yourself is the same as investing in the stock market. The returns are compounding. Don't stop once you start seeing the positive effects. Continue with the discipline and motivation needed to be a better version of yourself. So now I've melted a few of you entitled snowflakes, let's have a look at how you can invest in yourself. The biggest and most obvious way is by learning. Education shouldn't stop just because you finish school. The education system does a good job at making you a good little employee forever stuck in the rat race, but it doesn't do much towards promoting and creating innovators, free thinkers, teaching you what you actually need for the big wide world or how to win the race. There is so much to learn and the better educated and well informed you are, the better you will be at making decisions, reaching your goals and being successful. The sad thing is, many people don't do this and get stuck in a rut for the rest of their lives. But accessibility to learning is better than ever due to the internet and many options are free. Online courses, books, podcasts, the school of YouTube and so many other alternatives are all there for you to use. Over the last few years, I've easily spent close to £2,000 for online courses and books which have taught me huge amounts and I've already made that money back and more from what they have all taught me. I've even transferred to a different job role to pursue a completely new profession within the army where I now am able to add even more value to the marketplace than I could previously. When I lived in the block, I didn't waste my evenings. I used that time to educate myself on the skills I would need to be able to have a successful transfer and retrade. And now even since transferring, I am still learning new skills and techniques that can be implemented into both my personal and professional life, thus making me a more valuable asset to the team than the people who show up, do the bare minimum, get paid, but then complain why they don't promote. If you are single and living in the block, you are in one of the best positions to dedicate some time in the evenings to personal development. Don't waste that opportunity. Now I have a family and the extra responsibilities that come with that, finding time is a lot harder than it used to be. If you are continuously learning, then you are continuously growing. And that is not a bad thing. Breaking bad habits are another way of investing in yourself. Look at some of your bad habits. We all have them. And then make a conscious effort to try and break them. Whether that be smoking, spending your money too sporadically and emotionally, spending a lot of time on your mobile device, staying in bed too long in the morning, etc. Ending these habits will free up time, money and potentially improve your health and if you replace them with new good habits, then you're winning. Invest in yourself by creating a budget. By doing this, you can then allocate your hard-earned money to attain specific goals that you set yourself. 
even something as simple as making sure you live within your means. A budget can help with this. People shrug this off because they can't be asked or they already live within their means and so they don't see the benefit in it. But it allows you to accurately allocate your money, holds you accountable, will stop unnecessary spending and can even highlight compulsive spending behaviour that you can work on to eradicate. I have made a video that contains a free downloadable budget spreadsheet that can help you. I will link it below. Educating and improving your personal finance and financial literacy is one of the best ways to invest in yourself because understanding money, finances and how that side of life works will better position you to take advantage of opportunities and make more money. Staying on the vein of personal finance, another way to invest in yourself is by paying off your debt and avoid taking on new debt. If you can do this, then you will save a lot of money over your lifetime as all those interest payments add up. I have a playlist that has a number of videos in it that covers debt. I will link that below. It will help you a lot. By doing this, you will keep more money in your pocket, which can then be used elsewhere to help achieve your goals. On the topic of goals, creating goals is another method of investing in oneself. By setting goals, you will need to take a set of positive actions to achieve them, which will often see you grow both personally and professionally. Having goals helps give your life meaning and purpose. It helps keep you disciplined and motivated. They don't all have to be huge goals or short-term goals. Just setting a goal gives you a finish line and then you need to decide upon the best set of actions to take to cross that finish line a winner. And if you don't quite make it, then use that as a learning experience. Take what you have learned and implement it again. Learn from your mistakes. For example, I have set myself a goal to, on average, release two videos a month and to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. This is quite an ambitious goal, especially as I'm deploying at the beginning of January for two months with very limited access to internet. But because I have set these goals, I know what actions I need to take to best position me to reach these goals. But if you also want to help, then please hit the subscribe button. Your support is greatly appreciated. And finally, get a mentor. They can be an invaluable asset to your investment journey. If you have found someone in your area of interest and passion that is far more knowledgeable than you, then why wouldn't you want to learn from them? Mentors have so much to offer. Whilst doing it all yourself is doable, having someone more experienced teach and guide you will be invaluable. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So surround yourself with people who are better than you, as that will help drive you to improve and grow. Investing in yourself is not easy. It takes time, commitment, discipline and motivation. But just like when you invest in the stock market, you don't want your emotions to control your decisions. The same is true when investing in yourself. Don't be negative. Be optimistic, even if you fail at something. Use it as a learning opportunity. If you are constantly thinking of what could go wrong, then something probably will. Don't be lazy. Sitting there waiting for something great to land on your lap will just see you live an unfulfilled life. The thing is, if you don't move towards the goal, you'll forever be the same distance away from it. Ask for help. Believe it or not, most people are actually really helpful and are willing to lend a hand. Asking for help is not a weakness. You are lessening the chances of success of achieving your goals if you don't ask for help. You might even learn from them. Take responsibility. There is this extremely annoying culture now where no one seems to take personal responsibility for their actions or lack thereof. Instead, they play the blame game and point the fingers at everyone else by themselves for the bad situation they find themselves in. Don't do this. If you feel nothing in life is working out for you, then perhaps you are the problem and not everyone else. In my opinion, investing in yourself will make you your most important asset as well as a valuable asset to the marketplace with more to offer than before. The world will open up so many new opportunities and possibilities if you just take the time to continue your personal development journey. If you have made it to the end of this video, thank you and I hope you have found value in what I have said. If you can think of any other ways to invest in oneself then please leave a comment below. If I have upset or offended you, perhaps think about what I said first and I mean really think before emoting. Some introspectiveness might reveal some harsh truths that you could do with facing. Make the next 12 months a year of positive change. Do you invest in yourself? And if so, what has been the most effective way for you? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. If you liked what you just saw, please hit the subscribe button up there. And if you want to see some more videos, click over there. See you soon.